Did you see this shit? They put brains in a fucking dish and it played Pong. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Salutations, good people. <laughs> Welcome to the CS Podcast, where we create stuff. <laughs> or if you're Trey. Oh, that's my mic. Create shit. And today, we have our hands absolutely full. <laughs> the Petri dishes. And brains. And brains. And ping pong. I mean, <laughs> pong. And pong. I keep wanting to say ping pong, too. Pong. I don't understand it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna set that ground, that foundation right there out the gates. I don't know what, what's going on. I don't either. But we've spent the last ten minutes hysterically laughing over this concept, oh, God. and we're. I. We just need to start talking about it. Yeah, when you start the show. If you don't know, researchers have scraped some brain off of like a mice. A mouse. Oh, mice? There's probably plural. It's probably multiple a mice. A race of mice. Yeah. A mice. <laughs> <laughs> and if they put it in a Petri dish and and attached it to a chip, is that how we're reading it here? I, I believe Something so. Something about slathered that brain matter on a chip like a jam on toast, and it played Pong. It learned how to play Pong in like five minutes. It's it, wild. It was demonstrating synthetic biological intelligence, or as SBI. I coined it, SBI. Yeah, whatever that, yeah. Um, you thought AI was the death of us all. It's synthetics. It's, it's the synths. I don't know. Synthetic biological intelligence, SBI, is IBS backwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, the study was led by Brett Kagan of Cortical Labs, which sounds totally made up. Yeah, but it, it all sounds... It sounds like... <laughs> this is like... The, this is the next evolution. So you, you have Stranger Things, and once it runs its course, then you have Weirder Things, which is the sequel, <laughs> yeah. the inevitable sequel that takes place in 2023. And it starts with a brain-grown Petri dish thingy in the lab in <laughs> Melbourne, Australia. Right. <laughs> uh, and that's where it's uh, the biological computing startup based in Melbourne, Australia, because like I mentioned, all biological yes. computing startup bases... Every single one of them. ...are all in Melbourne, Cortical Australia. Cortical steroid, whatever that guy is. <laughs> Sydney Opera House. Uh, what else is it? The Outback? Outback Steakhouse? That was in that started in Melbourne, I think. I'm sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Dingoes? They're terrible. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll eat. eat your baby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but we got Steve Irwin out of it, so... Well, we came out on the top. only good thing that came out of Australia, Bluey. Oh, that's right. Bluey's pretty good. I uh, I messes with Bluey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> to all of our listeners in Australia, we apologize. We yeah. actually have analytics now that show our demographic of where they. I don't know if anybody's listening in Australia, honestly. Yeah, but if but, you are, I mean, we we love you. Yeah. But we're just having fun with with brains playing yeah. pong <laughs> in your labs. In your labs in Melbourne, uh, take a take a field trip down there. Ask them to show you around. Report back to us. We'll, yeah, we'll let us know. Yeah, we'll get in on it. We'll, we're going to lead this witch hunt, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's witch. Hunt. Anyways, it's wild. I I legitimately. That's what I, I told you before. We well, we we actually were recording, so I have footage of it. If I am not lazy <clears> enough <throat> to go back and pull it, but I told you I was like. I forget what I was going to tell you. I lost my train of thought. That's okay. You've got footage from before. You can pull it. <laughs> if I remember. That's what you get for being lazy and uh, forgetful. <laughs> so teaching brain. Oh, if, I don't know if this is real or not. Like I said, this could oh. be this could be a farce. Uh, sure. Yeah, a farce. <laughs> uh, going like, man. So the smart people that are watching are going, you guys are fucking stupid. This isn't real. Right. But we're going, oh my God, brain's dish real. Petri. Pong. And the people that are on our IQ level are like, yeah, he's right. Yeah. We're the ones leading. Yeah, they, they've, they've got microphones. That, <laughs> yeah. uh, they, they're right. <clears throat> they're right. Yeah. That's dangerous. I never thought about it that way. Uh-huh. That's terrifying. It is. So I don't know if this is real or not. I'm going to go with the assumption that it is real. It's wild. Teaching brain cells pong. Kagan and his colleagues cultured cortical neurons. Say that. Once, yeah, uh, dissected from the brains of embryonic mice or human stem cells, reprogrammed into neurons on high density microelectrode array chips that simultaneously can record the electrical activity of the cells and stimulate them. On the chip, the cells mature and connect with each other to form neuron neuronal. Neuro. It yeah. looks like neuronal, but um, neuronal, uh, neuro. <laughs> 
<laughs> networks that exhibit spontaneous electrical activity. All right, we're talking about this whole podcast is about creating shit, right? That is that is the creation. That yeah, that, I mean that's that's I don't know how you go any higher unless it's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, like right. <laughs> I mean, this is borderline. This yeah. this is not out of the same galaxy. Yeah. as effing freaking Frankenstein. Yeah. And what's crazy to me, well, I told you we were talking about off there. I was like, my that would be hell. For, that that's hell for me. How do I go to hell? Uh, well, I get scraped off <laughs> before I die off. They slather me on a microchip, pop me in an Atari, and I have to spend the rest of eternity figuring out Pong. I couldn't figure it out alive. That's I'm like ex- terrible at it. That's like explaining the internet to an ant. Yeah, that might take some time. Yeah. So it's just it's wild to me, like. I, I think I think I'm like. Well, does this mouse human thing have emotions? Does it have personality? Does it know what it's is doing? Is its whole life Tron? What did I say? <laughs> is, is it just? Is it just in the grid? What was it? Okay, so so to break it, the key takeaways. Okay, we should probably should fucking start with that. Started with that. <laughs> Researchers developed a quote dish brain. Okay. system that connected neurons to a computer running the classic video game Pong. Within five minutes, the cells began to learn That's and cr- improve... That is no time at all. ...their performance. Five minutes. A deceased... De- well, they... they, they a deceased brain. A dead brain. Sure, yeah. Because it's, it's not sure. in a thing. It's not in a mouse. Yeah. This is a dead mouse or a dead human's brain... We're probably missing some big key takeaways here is that somebody that's much smarter than us in the comments can be like, no, 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 here, look at it this Connect way. Connect the dots for us. Yeah, ELI5, explain it like I'm five. Right. So, regardless, <clears throat> within five minutes, the cells began learning and improved their performance. The mechanism of learning might involve the free energy principle, according to which the brain seeks to, minis- to minimize entropy. Which is unpredictability. So basically, in its environment. Yeah. So basically, they're learning, and what they're trying to do is minimize the amount of unpredictability in their environment. Is what these, this brain is doing. Right. Which is crazy. It did it within. It's it started making significant progress in five. Well, progress in yeah. five minutes. No, I mean. So you're telling me a dead mouse? Yeah. Its little brain is smarter than a. Have you, when's the last time you tried teaching a, a live mouse pong? Now, let's take a step back from the hysteria here. I will say significant progress may mean that they learned how to move the, move it a pixel or two pixels or three pixels. I mean, I would consider that significant progress since the damn thing's dead. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't. I don't know. I'm just trying to. Maybe I'm just trying to. Maybe maybe we're blowing it way out of proportion. I will take a step back and own that. Maybe we are. I don't know. Well, if if what you're saying is true, then I think this article is blowing it out of proportion, and the idea is blowing it out of proportion because yeah. moving a pixel uh, a little bit to yeah. me is way different from learning pong. That's fair. Yeah. Learning pong versus that yeah. little bit of motion is yeah. still insane and Frankenstein level stuff, yeah. but learning Pong, if it's not, then I, I think learning Pong is a bit of a stretch. Yeah. I'm just... Maybe it's on its way. We're obviously not experts. Is is, is pretty much the core of, of what course I'm we are. Yeah. We read this article <laughs> in Now. <laughs> we, right. we, did, we didn't proofread it beforehand. We skimmed it. Yes. Do you have anybody watching, listening? Have you done a deep dive on this? Do you know know more than I'd we do? I'd love to know more. If you could write it in our comments and really break it down into a level that I can understand because I'm not a rocket surgeon or brain scientist. It would, I don't know it'd where be much you got that from. Yeah, but. <laughs> Yes, uh, dish brain. The cells began learning and improved their performance within five minutes. Oh, 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 oh! With each successful interception of the ball. Oh, so they learned fucking pong. Yes. Okay. Man. Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> you, you gave us too much credit by saying we read the article. Yeah. <laughs> we, if we'd have reached the end, we'd have realized they played pong. Oh. Speaking of reaching the end, if you've never read Better Nate Than Lever, it's the longest joke in oh, the world. Yeah. you got to read Better Late Than Never. Better, better Nate, Nate Than, than Lever. Lever. I yep. still, I still, I don't say Better Late Than Never anymore. I say Better Nate Than Lever. Really? I do. Nice. Yeah. Um, with each successful interception of the ball, the synchronized spikes of electrical activity across the network increased in size. 
That's crazy. The more feedback they received, the more their performance improved. Under conditions in which they received no feedback at all, the networks completely failed to learn how to play the game. Okay, so a dead brain is a dead brain. Yeah. But with a little microchip or, or chip action Stimulation. Here, well, that's all we are is electricity. That's right. It's w- electricity firing from a neuron well, going down into our... Or no, actually, maybe it fires here, goes back up, receives it. Or maybe it's a pulse down and then back up to... That's how, that's how shit works. Well, Frankenstein had bolts in the side of his neck. I'm sure that... Yeah, you're... Yeah. It's the same thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Microchip bolt. I like mean, it is. Yeah, no, all, we gotta, coming from. all we got to do is knock you out with a little Dahmer juice, put some bolts in the side of your neck, hook you up to my work van out there, and you'll be playing Pong in no time. <laughs> That's, or I could buy an Atari. I can sit down. <laughs> ah, screw that. Oh, man. Talk about creating. That is wild. Who? I mean, I guess Pong being one of the most simple... I games just, to learn. But uh, can, can it play Fortnite for me? Probably not. Probably not. So we're drawing the line at, at Pong. Mm-hmm. So the best it. we can do. Best, best we can do. Pong, maybe a little bit of Space Invaders, Yars Revenge. Galaga. Maybe Galaga. I you feel like Space Invaders, you can do Galaga. Little, Asteroid. You know, it can move the ship and shoot, but yeah. maybe it might not know what it's shooting at. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to teach it to kill things. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. What if the what if it outgrows its computer chip and moves on to like, I don't know. Well, this is the beginning of zombies. <clears throat> a zombie apocalypse is not out of the realm of possibilities at this Pop point. Pop a little microchip in the back of our. It's like a. Hey, you ever seen Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh man, that's a good callback. If you Unless don't know, you've been following us for a while. You don't. You don't know what that means. <laughs> Go back and binge all of our episodes because I couldn't tell you which one to go to. Ramona had a microchip in the back of her head from Gideon that made her do things. Right. Well, That was the comparison I was trying to make. If a dead brain can (laughs) learn how to play Pong, we're not that far from from a zombie apocalypse. That's how it evolves. I just said zombie apocalypse. A zombie apocalypse. (laughs) Yeah, well, I mean... There's your YouTube short. That's that's why they eat brains. (laughs) So they could they could they could evolve from Pong to Fortnite. It's the perfect plan. That's actually a really good. That's just a really stupid B movie plot. Like, yeah, we we could do it. Oh yeah, we, we absolutely could, we could totally could. do it. This is this is our next skit. Which, oh, by the way, God. if you haven't seen our old skits, there's more coming up because the yeah. channel has been revamped. Welcome, new subscribers. If you came to us from YouTube Shorts, we're glad you're here. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for... Because we're, pump, yeah. we're, we're pumping them babies out. Popping them beanies out there. <laughs> popping, <laughs> pop that beanie back on. But no, that's... I mean, it's wild to think that if if this is legit and, and this is a possibility, I mean, as advanced as technology is... It's it, only going to go up. Right. Well, with technology advancing the way it does, what is it like? The more momentum it gets, the faster and... and, and quicker technology is going to advance the more time that goes on it's going to increase quicker yeah. with a shorter period of time sure yeah with this who's to say we're not making i don't know like we, we start to attach a a body part or two to this brain oh, and we, now, start getting the, we start getting the cyber you get the cyborgs sure sense like fallout or you know in uh blade runner and if it's a brain whatever can it can it learn to have emotion? Can we recreate a body? Sure, we can. Man, Whether that this... body's going to operate and be on the same level as a human being, who knows? Again, Frankenstein. Yeah, it's that wild. is wild. That Frankenstein, like it, that whoever created it, Mary Shelley. Uh, there you go. We talked about it. Yeah. Um, I know who created Dracula. <laughs> um, we had a what a, an a, interview with his ancestor, her his descendant, Dracula's ancestor, Dracula's, or ancestor. Dracula's descendant, <laughs> the creator. The other way, not not yeah. whatever's the opposite of ancestor, and and not Dracula, the yeah. creator of Dracula. Yeah, Bram Stoker. <laughs> yeah, Bram Stoker. Um, Dracula's descendant. <laughs> we had Dracula's descendant on the show. That's why that deserves a, a subscribe. Yeah. Uh, click <laughs> if nothing else. Or follow or a five star review. On what? Uh, Apple Podcasts or Spotify, your poison. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Tell us where doo doo head uh buttholes on Apple. Apples. Leave us a five star review. That's what we told you in the last show to do. Yeah, do it. Anyways. Um 
That that was written. When was Frankenstein written? Ahead of its time, that's for sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because people are now like, I can only imagine that in the Frankenstein lore that that's how Frankenstein probably started. Was playing Kong in a fucking petri dish. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure, maybe young Frankenstein. (laughs) Yeah. But that's how it was. Frankenstein's a monster. I keep calling him Frankenstein. Yeah, Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's monster. monster. Frankenstein's the doctor. Yep. Right. That's how. Yes. But that's probably the start of it. Is experimenting with dead brain cells. I'm sure. Yep. And and hooking it up to electricity because the bolts. Grr. But um, that's how they work. Yeah. Yeah. It it's wild. It it's is. tripping me out. It's crazy, man. This is like. My second cup of coffee, which is like double the coffee. It just it just keeps getting weirder. We went from COVID, COVID and to there were killer cannibal bees or something that were supposed to hit North America. Like everything, it just it, we progressively get further and further into science fiction. Betty White died. Betty White. That's why I did it. This whole this whole Betty White's vice was Pong. That's probably what it and was. So that's what they're that's what they're doing. They're trying to bring Betty White back. Mark my words. I'll mark them. <laughs> we'll come back to this episode. If Betty White comes back, you get to be told you, you were right. Yeah, well. I don't need it, but it's nice. <laughs> Betty White was the coolest thing since sliced bread. Bread she was, was the coolest thing. Yeah. Bread was the coolest thing since Betty White. It's wild to think that sliced bread is not a hundred years old yet. Or maybe it is just at a hundred something flesh bread has not been around longer than we think it has what did people eat back in the renaissance times did, did they not just a bread? big ass lust of, <laughs> did they sit down <laughs> to eat and they're just like if only there was a simpler way to eat this <laughs> <laughs> they open their mouths it just comes unhinged like scooby-doo <laughs> you're wearing a scooby-doo shirt oh, i am aren't i yeah you yep. mark you scooby-doo mark yep Wow. Well, this right. has been it, between Chat GPT and brains playing pong and stealing art <laughs> and stealing art. We're gonna have <laughs> robots are the worst. <laughs> we're gonna have a genius, dumb, half functioning pong champ artist running around before we know it. There's probably plenty of those running around right now. <laughs> <laughs> have you? Have you been to Pickens, South Carolina? <laughs> <laughs> or insert wherever you're from town that that makes sense. They're shut up in Pumpkin Town, <laughs> oh right next God, to Pumpkin. Pickens. <laughs> Over down near Roundo. Yeah, Pumpkin Town started because they all had heads <laughs> size of pumpkins. <laughs> really good at Pong. Pumpkins have eyes. <laughs> all right. Ooh. All right. All right. Well, speaking of creating shit, uh, I would like to take a second and encourage you right now to. <laughs> I've noticed I'm you, going you, into... from the last episode of this one, you get real somber. Yeah. That's when, not, it, when you go I to your. I almost feel like I'm going into like. If you, if I encourage you to join us in prayer. Right. That's what I feel like yeah, I'm it's doing very right somber now. somber and serious. Yeah. Uh, but for real, just take a little bit of time today. Take 30 minutes. Brain dump. But just let your just let your mind unwind. Don't think about anything, and then take five minutes to create something today. Draw, write, or whatever it is that you've been wanting to do. You have that kind of itch. I want you to satisfy that itch. I want you to take five minutes and delve into that. Anyways, I don't know where I'm gonna have to cut this. <laughs> so, like, I don't I don't know where I left off. The house got loud. It got really loud. Uh, but yeah, I just encourage you to go and create today. Just make something. Quiet your mind. Find a find a quiet place. Yeah. Get a hot cup of tea. Sit down and just let your mind wander. Uh, boredom is not a crime. No, it's it, not. sit and be bored for a minute. Yeah, it could very well stir something in you. Say spark something. Yeah, get rid of all the the distractions of your phone. Everything. Just if, if you've got a spot where you can go sit in nature. I know it sounds hippie esque. But seriously, go get into some nature, you know, as quiet as you can be. Yeah. Or as quiet of a surrounding as it can be. And Man, I love nature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck New York. <laughs> <laughs> so quiet your mind and 
you know, get into that creative headspace. Yeah. And if there's anything we can do to help you get creative, let us know. Yeah. Is there anything we could talk about on the show that you would like to hear discussed from two uh, num- numbskulls like we are? Yeah. Nimrods? Uh what have you? We would love to talk about it. Yeah. We'll put a, a humorous spin on it. Yep. Any hoozles. Any hoozles. Um, well, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Follow us on Spotify, Apple, leave a five star review, and all that good stuff. Check out our YouTube shorts. You can find us on TikTok and Twitter at the official CS Pod. And Instagram. And Instagram. There's that thing. Yeah, we're on there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> until next time, oh, we've been. <laughs> Squash, hush, puppy. Okay. Sure. (laughs) Fuck you. That's right. We're on there. I don't give a shit about that. Until next time, my ghastly gang, stay spooky. (laughs) Create shit. Build anything. Make it real. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belford. Stacking penny stocks while I'm flipping.